Let's take a look at these steps in detail. What happens when we put a patient into the magnet of an MR machine? To understand this, it is necessary to at least know some very basic physics, even though this may seem to be boring. As we all know, atoms consist of a nucleus and a shell, which is made up of electrons. In the nucleus, besides other things, there are protons, little particles that have a positive electrical charge, whatever that may actually be. These protons are analogous to little planets. Like the Earth, they are constantly turning or spinning around an axis. Or, as one says, Protons possess a spin. The positive electrical charge, being attached to the proton, naturally spins around with it. And what is a moving electrical charge? It is an electrical current. Now, you may remember from your physics at school that an electrical current induces, causes a magnetic force or magnetic field. So, where there is an electrical current, there is also a magnetic field. Thus, the proton has its own magnetic field and can be seen as a little bar magnet. Let's review what we have learned.